Hey, this is Wendy with Loaves and Dishes, and today we're going to make some bake-in-the-bag pot, pot roast. It is delicious and easy, so simple. You really can't mess it up, and it makes a wonderful, delicious, tender pot roast. So get this bag. It's made by McCormick's. You'll find it in the packet section. At least that's where it is in my grocery store, in the packet section where they have packet gravies and that kind of thing. Um... So inside that package is seasonings and a plastic bag and a tie. And see how it's got that little flap? That's, I think, the easiest way to open it. It doesn't really give good directions about opening the bag um, on the packet. But see, there's the little, the little um, plastic bag. You don't need the little piece of tape that it is secured with. Um, there's a little, kind of like a twist tie in there. Um, and that's what you close the bag with, so don't throw that part away. But you can get rid of this little plastic thing. Open up the bag all the way. Um, there's the little black plastic tie. Um, and then, see how it works? There's a little um, hole, and you just pull it through. And you're going to only be closing the bag loosely, so you don't have to zip it down completely tight. Anyway, open that bag completely up and put it in your baking dish, which should be about a 9 by 13, but I didn't use a 9 by 13. I used like a 9 inch oval baker, which also works just fine. It's a little tricky to get that bag open, you know, do the things you know to do. Anyway, um, now see there's the seasoning and I accidentally cut the packet when I was opening it, but that's okay. We're going to be mixing that with water. I think the bag says to mix it with a quarter cup. I think I used a third of a cup of some warm water. Um, it's not going to matter that much how much you use. You're going to put your roast inside the bag. This is important to do it in this order. Put your roast inside your bag. You can put the go ahead and put the bag in the baking dish first or second. But anyway, get your roast in the bag. Mix up your seasoning packet with your water. If you are using vegetables, you want to cut them up, especially if they're heavier vegetables like potatoes or broccoli or carrots, something more dense like that. You're going to cut those up into kind of bite-sized pieces. You don't want to leave the potatoes whole is what I'm saying. Um, if they're the mini potatoes, that's okay. You can leave as long as they're small and not bigger than a golf ball. You can leave those whole. So um, you can see here I have a chuck roast. And when you're choosing your chuck roast, you want to get a pretty well marbled one. That'll give you the best flavor. But anyway, put your little chuck roast down in the bag. Now my chuck roasts were extremely small. Like I'm going to say that was like a pound and a half. And I'm feeding a big family, so I'm going to use two small chuck roasts. So see how I put two in the bag and they both fit in the baking dish and that's about a nine inch baking dish. That's not gonna be um, too much for one bag. Um, if you really like to load on the seasonings, you might wanna put an extra packet of seasoning on there. That's not gonna hurt anything at all. Then you'll have an extra bag. But anyway, um, you're going to get your water and you're going to mix up your seasoning in your water. You're going to put your vegetables in the bag and then um, pour the seasoning packet over the vegetables and the pot roast. If you forget and you just put the seasoning over the top of the pot roast and then you add your vegetables to the bag, nothing's going to be hurt by that. You just might have to salt and pepper your vegetables when you get them out. So don't freak out. It's There's nothing lost if you don't get this exactly right. Um, you can see here. Here we go. Pouring this over. Now I'm not putting vegetables on mine um, because I like to do them separately. And that's what I did here. So um, just pour the seasonings on. I'm spreading them out a little bit because they kind of all landed in one spot on the meat. And then we're going to close the bag up. We're going to poke four holes in the top with a knife. And then I'm going to put it in the oven and let it bake for two hours. I believe the oven's set on 325. Um, if you bumped it up to 350, no harm done. Um, I'm sure that most of our ovens vary by that much anyway. So there you have that. Now, what I didn't get was a picture of it when it came out of the oven. So you're just going to have to imagine. I used some stock photos after this to 
to show you what a completed pot roast looks like. There's my four little holes and that just allows some steam to escape so the bag doesn't explode in the oven. And there it goes into the oven. So that's it y'all. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. You'll be delighted with how tender your roast turns out. You could make a little gravy with the drippings. Um, it's delicious. Give it a go. Follow us at loavesanddishes.net. Bye-bye. <laughs>